Good morning, friends. Welcome to Movements Day 3. And it is Monday morning. It is the day after the moving sale, and it was such a success and such a blessing. And I'm still not over my conversation with Donna. It was just, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's Monday, <laughs> and I don't have a lot of my to-do list. I am going to run. I actually have my running stuff on right now. Um, then I want to read a book. I want to go grab Ariana Grande's album on vinyl. It is so good. I've not always been like the biggest Ariana Grande fan. I've like liked a song here and there. This new album, Eternal Sunshine, is phenomenal. It is so well done. It is so well thought out. I love her play on an interpretation and reimagining of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's just so clever and I really, really like it. Um, my favorite song so far, Imperfect For You, Eternal Sunshine, We Can't Be Friends is like my favorite, favorite song, and the video is fantastic. Um, what other song? I like so many of them. I mean, I don't think there's one that I don't like. I think my least favorite was the first single, that Yes And, which she even said doesn't really fit with the album and that it stands alone, which makes sense and can help me like it a little bit more. I just think it feels misplaced on the album. But love, love, love it, highly recommend. Today is an interval run, so I think it's five minutes walking, five minutes running, and I'm gonna play a little, I'm gonna play around a little bit with um, Incline. I just haven't decided what I wanna do there. So that's this morning. And then I do wanna like spot clean now that like so much of our furniture is gone. I just wanna spot clean around the house so it's nice and tidy. And then, yeah, but I woke up at 6.30 and kind of laid in bed until 7. For those who know, I, during a regular work week, have an alarm set for 4.10, 4.15. But most of the time, I don't sleep through the night, so I'm up at 3. Yeah, um, but I slept through the night after <laughs> I stayed up late and watched a tennis match, which I can never do on a Sunday. I didn't go to bed till like 11 because Caroline Wozniacki was in the third round at Indian Wells. She's a mom of two. She's come back after three years off. Um, she's playing some great tennis. So she won last night and is going into the fourth round, the round of 16, which is super exciting and a great result when you haven't played for so long. It's such an inspiration to have two kiddos leave a sport for three years and come back and already be performing. It just shows you like what is possible. Uh, I think especially she was so underestimated and people said she shouldn't come back onto the tour after two kids and three years off and she has just proven them all wrong, which I couldn't be more thrilled. Today is absolutely hitting differently than the weekend. So Friday was my last day and Saturday and Sunday with the moving cell and just, it felt like a regular weekend to go to bed last night and be able to stay up and watch something I know I could sleep um, and then wake up this morning and not immediately be on email or a phone call or a text chain and solving problems and crises and planning what you're gonna do before you're even there. I just haven't felt that for 13 years. Um, so to have it lifted off your plate is very freeing. And once again, as I keep saying, like the blessing that I'm able to do this is not lost on me. Um, I am forever grateful. But when something has been a part of your 13 years and for so long, it's just how you've always operated, it feels very different. Um, not good, not bad, just very different. So today is going to be a little bit of navigating a little gentler with myself because I'm sure some feelings are going to come as the day goes. Also, filming on the new camera. Um, I have it zoomed in slightly, but it has like a good wide angle. I'm excited to see the footage. Bear with me on this first couple videos now in Move Miss as I navigate this camera and learn exactly all my settings and things. But from the viewfinder, it looks like it looks pretty good. Great. Um, all right, let's get this run over with.
not over with. Let's go enjoy this run um, and be blessed that our bodies can do it for us and that it can carry me during the run. So I'll be back. These are the best water filter pitchers. We actually have two of them in our fridge. They're by Soma. I'm telling you, I've had like the Brita's, all the things. These just by far are the best. I'll link them below because if you just search Soma, a lot of high-end stores carry them for a high markup. Amazon, you can get them much cheaper. Also, their filters are pretty reasonable, which I really like, and they last a really long time. I've been jazzing up at least one of my cups of water. I know it's not the healthiest, but I've been using like a sugar-free lemonade mix. Um, I like it because it's so much water that it's not like so overly sweet. Like it says, I think to mix it with like eight ounces of water, that would be wildly sweet. This is like 54 ounces. So like you just get like enough just so it tastes a little different. I prefer to have it on my first one for the day. I find that my palate really doesn't like enjoy plain water like in the early in the morning. So I like to like add that to my first cup of the day and then the rest are totally fine. My workout today went pretty well. Uh, I did my base run just to kind of see where I was at on Saturday and I did 10 minute miles, I did three miles in 30 minutes, which for not running for a while, I actually wasn't upset with that at all. And then today it was five minutes on, five minutes off intervals. And I walked on a three incline and ran on a four incline. And I did that for a half an hour. Then I'm doing like a 30 day arm workout. And then I'm doing like a 30 day ab workout. They're like super fast, a couple minutes, a couple exercises. So. I'm done, I'm gonna drink this water and then I'm gonna get cleaned up and then go grab a couple groceries and um, the Ariana Grande vinyl. All right, friends, I am back. I actually did, I had a hat on, so sorry. I did grocery shopping, some errands at Target, took Mabel for a walk on the canal and it's now like a little afternoon. We're gonna make a salad that Bethany Frankel made that is a replica or a version of the Escala salad, which I've had before, and it's amazing. So I'm gonna use her version of it, and we're gonna whip it up. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do really quick is drain off some chickpeas. I don't have everything that she had, but we're gonna make do with what we got today. Well, those drain a bit. We are going to start with some romaine. Ascala uses iceberg, but I like romaine better. So we're gonna grab one part of romaine. Let me quickly rinse this off. And we're gonna chop this really, really good. We're gonna use a much larger bowl. Actually, now that bowl's too big. Oh, wow. All right. Always, always, always season your greens with some salt. This is just pink Himalayan sea salt, some pepper. Give that a little bit of a toss together. No one wants boring greens. Since I don't have as many vegetables in the fridge right now, I'm gonna use two of these cucumbers. Steven doesn't love cucumber, I love it. I'm going to add about half, and I'll save the others for tomorrow, about half of the chickpeas. And then they use salami in theirs, but Bethany, when she made it, she used um, turkey pepperoni. So that's what I'm going to use as well. So I'm just going to chop up some of this turkey pepperoni. All right, a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Mutz. And then I'm going to use the Skinny Girl Italian dressing. She mixed hers with a Dijon mustard, and I don't have any. So I'm going to just do some of that. Grab a fork. I'm 
Give this a toss. It's delicious. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna finish lunch and then I'm gonna get cleaned up. And we're gonna clean a little. We have two doggies sniffing. They're so funny. Mabes. So good. I am just, oof. <laughs> I, Stephen walked into this light yesterday and I almost just walked into it. Normally there's a table there, but now there isn't. Um, I'm watching a little bit of Indian Wells tennis. The afternoon got away from me a little bit. I had a busy morning, I was on the go. I got cleaned up and showered and all those things. Good girl. And then um, I started editing yesterday's video and I was reading a little bit and then I did doze off just a hair and took a little bit of a nap. But um, I now understand why content creators love to film the day before they edit because oh my gosh, how nice is it to know that like I just have all the footage, I can edit it, I've already published it, you guys are loving it. Um, the videos have been going so well. Uh, keep sharing them and keep watching them and keep thumbs upping them and commenting. It all helps and I, it means a lot to me as I pour a lot of effort into this. Do I have doggies that need treats? Do I have doggies that need treats? You have so much space to run. Or have so much space to be run and be doggies. Or have so much space to run and be doggies. A cookie for the old man and a cookie for the young lady. Filming in that manner is such a game changer. Also, I was looking at the footage on the camera and I'm really, really happy with it. So I think we found a winner, winner chicken dinner. Speaking of chicken, we are having crispy chicken Caesar salads tonight for dinner. So that's an easy one to whip up. Also second salad of the day. Didn't plan that one out too much, but nothing fancy to show there. Um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward and simple. And then tomorrow night I'm making enchiladas, which if you've watched, you've seen me make them before. In the meantime, I think we will play this album finally. There might actually be, yeah, I figured. 1989, Taylor's version. Oh, I love vinyl. I have some chicken going in the air fryer. I chopped up my romaine lettuce because Stephen just got home. And then I have my croutons, Parmesan cheese, and Caesar dressing. Like, it's really nothing special. It's just like a nice, simple dinner. You get some protein, you get veggies, you get some fat, it's all the things. I'm on my third cup of water. This is my favorite. I am completely converted away from Stanley. Simple modern, way to go. Love them, love them, love them. Are you recording me? <gasps> yes. Oh. No sticks, in, you know the rule. Uh, drop that, thank you. No sticks inside. Oh wait, someone said something really cute today on Instagram. I had that um, video of her carrying a stick mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, she's the branch manager. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cute. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. I was like, she needs to get a shirt that says branch manager. She does branch. She, and she puts the sticks down when she comes inside. Yeah, she drops them at the door. Other things, not so much. How was your day? It was good. Dinner is going to be super simple, and then we'll probably just hang out for the evening. But, all right, I'm gonna finish prepping everything and getting everything done. It's now time for the most enthralling content of this vlog, and that is me doing laundry. 
I've said it before, this is the, this is the content you've signed up for. Just remember, click subscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am so far behind on laundry that it has to get done today. But Stephen came home and we were talking and he said, um, it's so nice to come home and you to be so relaxed and so calm. And like, normally it's 7 p.m. and I would be in bed because I'd be so tired or just drained. And I am like still awake and we're still spending time together, which is really nice. I feel bad that he would even like have to name that, but it is really, really true. Um, so I am excited for this time that we have where I can be a little bit more present because I don't always feel like I am. But going to do laundry, going to finish watching some Indian Wells tennis, we're hanging out. Um, dinner was really good, it was super simple. And yeah, we had a glass of Canis and we're just like living life. <laughs> Which sometimes something so small is actually something that is so big. But I'm going to wrap this up. Take care of yourself, my friends. Take care of others. Be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.